Okay, what is up, guys? It is your girl C, aka at Sporty Spice, here with uh the Sporty Girl today. Avril, <laughs> hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm excited. I mean, I'm in Philly, so we've had a good sports weekend. Oh. Uh, with you know our Phillies doing what they do, our Eagles oh. doing what they do, the Union doing what they do. We we're having a time. Oh, so I'm great. Okay. <laughs> I know. I see your Atlanta hat on, so I had to say it. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Somebody is, has to get the trophy, I guess. So, you know, we're not, we're not too much worries. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I saw that your birthday was also a few days ago. So happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. I just turned 22. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you're launching a podcast of your own. Yeah, I am. So the Sporty Gal podcast, I think that's so cute. I don't know why. It is cute. (laughs) I think that's really bomb. But basically just like, I want to talk to more people in the events industry and kind of like get that pushing and just talking to Black people in the industry period, especially Black women, because like we were talking earlier, I just don't feel like we get represented a lot. And if we are represented, it's just like, surface level things so I just want to get deep into it and just talk and not just like oh how did you start your journey you know things like that so I'm excited I'm just it's in the works of course I'm excited I'll definitely be tuning in posting all that good stuff (laughs) No, like I said I haven't recorded an episode in like a month and a half so I'm rusty (laughs) and typically I would start with a question tailored to my guest that I call the starter lock segment because mm-hmm. for some reason I want everything about my show to be related to a hair salon. Um, <laughs> just because I feel like, I don't know, as a Black woman, the hair shop is a very safe space for me, you know? And I want to make a safe space. So that's the, that's the metaphor. I definitely can agree. <laughs> but I know, first of all, I love your, I love the, the, the thickness of that that accent you've got I grew up a lot in the south so anytime I hear a southern accent I'm like oh yeah <laughs> so many people like people are like where are you from and plenty of people think I'm from like New Orleans or somewhere I'm like no I'm from <laughs> I'm literally from Georgia born and raised it's so funny uh, I feel like Georgia has a distinct distinct sound yeah I think so too it definitely doesn't sound like New Orleans or nothing like that so <laughs> I don't no offense to the people from New Orleans I love people from New Orleans but it doesn't sound like a New Orleans accent not to me I agree but (laughs) I know I've been following you for a while and your content interests me a lot one just because black women doing dope stuff yeah but also I know absolutely jack shit about American football zero what the world (laughs) Nothing. I I watched the Super Bowl when the Eagles went. I watched Temple's Homecoming a few weeks ago. Uh That's all I know. (laughs) So whenever I see somebody regularly post about football, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. That's a skill that I just don't have. Oh, (laughs) football! Like I I really love college football. Like it's so good. Did you see Tennessee beat Alabama Saturday? I did see that. See, it was it was just so good. Like. Alabama is overrated to me, so anytime somebody beats them, I'm very happy. Yeah, I well, what's the tea? Because I don't know. No, it's just like, first off, I I like Nick Saban, but sometimes in his interviews, it's like he's rude to the people, you know? So I kind of don't like that. And then Alabama also has like a cockiness about them, so... I really don't like it. It's like Ohio State as well. Like, they feel like they deserve to be at the top. And this year, Georgia's number one. They've been fluctuating between one and two. So they're number one. And people are just like, oh, they don't deserve it. I'm like, so who deserves it then? (laughs) They're always talking about Alabama. And I'm just so glad that somebody else is taking over the spot and it's not Alabama. (laughs) You sound like uh, women's basketball fans talking about UConn. That's the the energy (laughs) I'm getting. Okay, because I... When I was interning at Georgia Tech, they actually played UConn, and I was fangirling out like I was like, "Ooh, snap!" I was so excited. But I hear a lot of people like, "No, UConn is not it." 
I'm personally, I don't say this often in public because I often get attacked. I am a UConn fan. Okay. I grew up in a UConn household. (laughs) So when it comes to college basketball, Mm -hmm. I I rep my team. But outside of my school, I have a lot of love for UConn. I can't let that be known, though. (laughs) And then... (laughs) It's like world. North Carolina basketball, like they have my heart. I don't care. I don't care who it is. They have my heart. So I can get where you're coming from. <laughs> I didn't even ask the question that I was about to ask. <laughs> oh my God, no way. I'm so sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. That's the good thing. Because oh it's, it's meant to be loose, flowing, Literally. not structured. Um, <laughs> But I feel like we already got to some of the conversation anyway. But I was going to ask, outside of men's sports, mm-hmm. what's your go-to? Outside of men's sports, it's probably be the WNBA. I'll watch the Atlanta Dream um, if they come on TV because, you know, it's very hard to see them on TV and I don't have, like, a league pass or anything like that. So mm-hmm. probably that – and also tennis because I was a big Serena fan. So I watch women's tennis, all that good stuff. So those Another skill tennis. I don't have. I don't know anything about tennis. I, I don't I know anything though. about tennis. Like, I just know they be hitting the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing else. <laughs> That's how I feel about football. And even then, I don't understand it because, first of all, why is there so many people on the field at once? I don't understand how your rosters are so big. I, I swear, when I was at Temple's homecoming, I was like, it's like 100 guys on the <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm gonna say, I think it's a 53-man roster. And I think it can go to at least 55. Like, people can move up and down from the practice squad. So, I mean, football, I like football over basketball, literally. Like, I can't I can't watch basketball. First Not of all, like, you can't just skip over the fact that you said a 53-man roster. Like, that's normal in any other situation. That's I crazy. It just feels so normal to me. Like, 53 men on the roster. I don't know. <laughs> 53 men to keep up with. Can't do it. That's a lot of people. That's like Philly sports fans, first of all, are just a whole nother breed. I don't. I heard about (laughs) y'all. I don't want to find out. So, I have a lot of respect and admiration for diehard Philly sports fans because we go through a lot. Mm. But when it comes to the Eagles, like, I like the love is there and I love that for them. I'm just like, it's so much going on in football to keep up with. It's like 50,000 teams, 50,000 people per team. And I'm supposed to keep up with that? Can't do it. I, you say y'all go through a lot in Philly with sports. Think about it. Listen, it's, it's, listen oh disappointment is, 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 listen, <laughs> all right? We be having our moments okay. every year. But y'all, I don't know. A good, wild with the Eagles this year so that's good hopefully fingers crossed see we do good every year with a certain team whether it's the Phillies the Eagles or even somebody and then nothing to show for it so okay maybe this maybe this might be all year this year you know you never know I (laughs) hope so I mean once again I don't know nothing about football I know about basketball I don't know a lot about the NBA as a whole (laughs) because it's too much happening understandable um Phillies, I've been to Phillies games. I understand baseball that I can get with. Okay. Uh, hopefully we get somewhere. I'm not really a fan of our star player, but that's a whole different conversation. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's a rough life. Hey, think about every Sunday when the Falcons play. The fans, <laughs> and you at the game and the fans from the opposing team down your throat talking about your team. Like, it's, it's just too much. It's too much. And then the Bulldogs in college, I'm like, just a lot going on. People be hating on Georgia for no reason. I don't understand why. But they love no our reason. music, though. They love our music, but <laughs> that's all. I'm going to keep it right there. I'm going to keep it right there. I'm going to keep it cute. I don't know why they hate on Georgia sports. I don't understand, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, what's, what, what's up with Georgia? This, once again, I'm out, of, I'm out of the loop when it comes to college football. I don't, I don't know. know the tea. I, I don't even know the T, and I live here. <laughs> like, I don't know the tea. People literally, ever since they won the freaking championship, people hate Georgia. Like, 
I don't know. Maybe they want Alabama and Ohio State at the top. I don't know. It, it's it's sad. Even with the Braves, like even with them winning, they shouldn't have won. And the, I'm like, why does Atlanta get so much hate on their sports teams? It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, I may have been talking not so greatly about the Braves a few days ago. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. All in all in love and care and <laughs> sportsmanship. <laughs> I wish them nothing but greatness in the future. <laughs> no, we we coming hard, Nick. You know, we're coming hard next season. Y'all see that. Okay. We're coming hard. Oh, so I, I I think you deserve something. Oh, <laughs> that was like the we deserve something in Philly, and that was our something. All right. That was just yeah, enough. When I saw them lost the game, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I just thought like. You know how your heart dropped to your stomach. I was like, what is going on? I'm like, this mm-hmm. is serious. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh my God. But it's okay. I wish y'all nothing but the best. <laughs> oh, thank you. We need it. We really do. Because we, we have a history of getting getting our foot in the door. Listen. Nobody knows what happened after that. We'll we do too. It. We do too. Even with the Falcons, they'll do so- Super Bowl, prime example. I literally hate talking about it, but you know what? I'm gonna say it. <laughs> like we we were there, we were almost there, but then I don't know what they did. Like I don't know what happened with that. So it's all right. When our time is coming, <laughs> you know, I I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep it in my thoughts. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, keep it in my thoughts. Keep, <laughs> keep, keep, I'm gonna keep the back of my thoughts. About. That's why I say I love to get some okay. Listen to you. I'm gonna keep it in my thoughts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it about that. That's what I'll be talking about right there. I don't understand. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> this prime example, Lord. Prime example right here tonight. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Yo. Oh, you, you too funny. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> We we open in boxes tonight. This is a healing journey that we're going on. All right. journey. <laughs> we already we already didn't talked about some tough stuff. Listen, some first timers. I don't understand it. It's okay though. It's fine. I'm used okay. to the hate at this point, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course you though. <laughs> See, I'm so jealous of y'all anyway because y'all got a women's sports team and we don't. And I just feel like no shade to Atlanta. Love Georgia, all that stuff. Um, but like Philly been that place. <laughs> I just feel like we don't gotta prove that we that place <laughs> for a little something. I don't even care what league it is at this point. Mind you, I did just find out that we do have a women's football team in the NFC. So I will be following them, but right. we need we need a little something else. Well, that's it's not been a little too long. <laughs> You can't be mad with us. You can talk to the WBA. I'm mad with every place that has one, and we don't. I don't care where it is. Oh it can God. be Minnesota. It can be Phoenix. It can be New Jersey with their hockey team. Girl. I don't want to. Why? I feel like Philly has done so much for the sports community. Why do I have to take a Amtrak train, however many hours, to see a women's sports game? <laughs> I feel like. Oh my God. my Philadelphian ancestors put in the work, what? and I am not reaping the benefits of their work yet, and I don't understand no, man, <laughs> where the disconnect me. is. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't understand why y'all don't have a women's basketball team. I don't know. A woman something. We used to have a women's soccer team mm-hmm. way back in the day before the NWSL. Mm-hmm. That league folded. Oh, they always talk about a WNBA team. Who knows when that'll ever happen, whenever they decide to expand again. Yeah. No time soon, probably. Probably not. No women's soccer. There's a hockey team in Jersey, but Jersey is Jersey. <laughs> um, they used to say that Gotham was Philly's team, too, but then they moved it closer to New York and called it New York and New Jersey. So <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe y'all ain't got nothing. <laughs> like, y'all just broke up with us and then got somebody oh new and didn't say nothing about it. Just released a whole new brand and mm-hmm. moved a whole nother hour into Jersey. I'm confused. Oh, so They just picked them up and left. 
Exactly. And disrespect. Oh. And then had the nerve to have a whole, like, they just ran with the Gotham New York thing. And I'm like, oh. yo, but the whole reason y'all said y'all wouldn't have a Philly team was because Jersey's team was Philly's team. And yet oh, here wow. we are. And I feel a little bit disrespected, being honest. Not disrespected. <laughs> Not disrespected. Because I feel like this- y'all could have said something. You need to write a letter to the governor or something because <laughs> y'all gotta get a team. Wow. At this point, the finals MVP is from North Philly. Ain't nothing. And then up there. I mean, granted, she just got herself a little more. I need to go see it. I forget. I don't even know where it's at, but it's in North Philly and I'm gonna find it. <laughs> <laughs> but no way. it like it's so many uh, women's athletes from Philly and yeah. They can't even play in their city. That's crazy. I was going to say, you would think, well, I, I don't know. That's a tough That's a tough question right there. Trying to figure out why don't y'all have one. Because I know it is some states that don't have any teams at all, but still, I know they got something going on there. Like, mm-hmm. I, mm. But like they, Philly, the place where they signed the, the Declaration of Independence, Philly. But not, <laughs> not with political on this. The original... <laughs> The original capital of the country, Philly, like not with political on this right quick. The history oh, is there, okay? Wait it's not it's not that many cities which is much as much history as Philadelphia, PA. And yet what we got to show I'm confused. <laughs> I don't maybe understand. That's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. Y'all had too much history going on. Maybe the people don't <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't know where they would put them. We don't have a lot of space. In the See, city. That's, another, that's another well you know what they make space for what they want to make space for exactly so they, they could make some space if they really want so they'll figure it out like i feel like right it could happen the 76 ers trying to leave the wells fargo center oh look what? you need a new team they want to granted know. so oh so the t- there's a lot of drama in philly right now in the sports <laughs> world because the 76ers proposed to build a new stadium in our Chinatown, which is like a historic place in the city. What? And we we're like, first of all, this doesn't make sense. There's already way too much stuff happening downtown. You have a stadium. Why would you put a stadium in the middle of the downtown area? Like, and you're displacing people. You're like taking up a historical location. And I just feel like y'all never really, y'all haven't done much recently to even deserve to say something that crazy out of y'all mouths. Right. Like, if, if you maybe, if you like produce a little bit more, maybe people would be like, okay, sure, you know. You but know, that kind of reminds me of when they were building Mercedes Benz Stadium. Like, it was a whole lot of controversy around that. Because they were tearing down Friendship Baptist Church, which is where mm. HBCU started it, like the AUC, Morehouse, Spillman, all the other stuff. And the people were really upset because they were tearing the church down and they were going to build a stadium there. But also, too, it kind of was a benefit because on the west side where the stadium is, the it used to flood so bad. Like, I've never seen it, but people were telling me that, you know, when they drive their cars through there, like, water is all splashing up and stuff. It was just flooded. So now, like, with the stadium, <clears throat> the way the roof is made and all this other stuff, the architecture of the stadium, like, the way the rainwater falls and the sinisters that we have, it provides the water so it can seep out slowly. So, I mean, if they were doing something like trying to help the people a little bit, mm-hmm. maybe they wouldn't be so mad. But, you know, I don't, I don't know too much about Philly, but if they go yeah. Chinatown, that sounds like it's fun, too. It is fun. <laughs> Like it's it so is fun. fun and it's right next to our city hall too so like there's so much already going on so they're yeah. like where like where's the traffic gonna go where what? are the cars gonna go like then you need to build a parking lot like you don't have space for this and that is the problem like they will go and build these multi-million dollar stadiums and they don't build no parking they don't build a parking lot a parking deck like literally nothing and then that's a problem when it comes to game day because where am I gonna park it Mm-hmm. now i have nowhere to park or if you do have somewhere to park the people are scammers and they breaking into your car and stealing your stuff like mm-hmm. uh, i definitely stand bro uh, taking public transportation on a, a game day in philly 
Not the move. I forgot the Phillies were playing the other day and got on the train. Regretted it. (laughs) (laughs) Regretted it. I have not seen a subway that pack since the Eagles won the Super Bowl and everybody was going to the parade. I was so confused. <laughs> and oh I barely, I almost didn't make it off because it was so packed. I was like, I gotta get the car. Oh no, I've never, we, we have Marta, so I've never rolled Marta or anything. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't got my license, so that's the struggle. <laughs> that's the, are you that's the struggle. About, how old are you? Wait a minute, no. Don't, I'm 20. Don't, Okay, okay, 20, 20. Okay. It's you not that bad. Life. You need to get your life. I know, but I'm spoiled because I grew up in a city where I could take a bus or a sub to wherever I need to go. So that's, I was like, that's why people up north so bad. Oh, my aunt so, is here and she doesn't have a license. She gets on the train and all this other stuff. I'm like, girl, you need to you need where I drive. No, niece, it's too much traffic. Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, because me, I got to drive. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm ready to go. I've been I've been feeling that, especially because I don't got no women's sports teams. I gotta <laughs> travel. I gotta travel every time I want to see some. <laughs> find the Amtrak Whoa. train, figure out how I'm gonna get from the train station to where I need to go. Yeah. I could just drive, but it'll it'll happen. No, but it definitely fun. needs to because it's getting in the way of my my fun and my experience as no, uh, a woman in in the sports world because people don't want to get Philly what we deserve. So oh god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> get no way, get away. <laughs> no, baby, you didn't get the no license first, then baby, they get Philly what they deserve. <laughs> How to get my license so we can get a team? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I'll do it though. I do it though. Crazy. <laughs> if if any oh commissioner of any pro women's league came up to me personally and said, see, if you get your license, we'll bring a team. I get it the next day. I know that's right, girl. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. Just like I'm going to the NWSL championship game at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. And just like looking through Amtrak, trying to figure, okay, which train is going to get me here? And I got to do this. I got to do that. <laughs> I ain't got all the time because all the closest teams to me, the closest uh, WNBA team is in Washington. Mm. Thankfully, the Women's Hockey League has a team in Jersey that isn't that far. But even going to see a women's soccer game in Jersey takes a minute because they moved it all the way up to New York. How long long is the train ride? Um, To the Jersey, for the hockey games, it's like, hour and a half two hours oh no girl no. yeah and then i got i i <laughs> think be four hours all together to get there and back oh um, no. i wouldn't be going nowhere <laughs> and listen oh, dedication God. okay no literally i'm so i'm giving it for you <laughs> girl ooh, ooh. <laughs> i don't know if i could do it ooh. That remind me of being um intern at Georgia Tech when it was baseball season and we had to be to the games like four hours in advance. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Oof, that was just too much for me. And then you had to stay all the way until the game was over. Sometimes the game would last like 10, 11 o'clock at night and we wouldn't leave till like 12, 12. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. I, 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 <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> that was a long time, though. Dang. Yeah, see, even now I commute to school, mm-hmm. um, which I don't live that like my apartment's like 30 minutes away from my school. Okay. But it takes me like 50 minutes on the bus. 50? And yeah. Oh, and I work for the women's basketball team. So I got to be at practice like 8 a.m. You got to be there. I'm like, all right, cool. And then bus don't show up, bus leave, bus breakdown. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm, on my way. I'm coming I'm on my way I promise yeah. <laughs> you need proof here's a picture like I'm coming oh god you got a bus struggle is real it's not I'm about to say girl you better get an Uber <laughs> <laughs> I spent too much money that's why I really need to get a license that's the yeah. the core issue I need my bike <laughs> a bike <or> so. <laughs> so that will help you know I'll be on them little scooters we got them <laughs> <laughs> I hate those scooters so much can't stand them same I really don't like 
I like to ride on them myself, but seeing people ride on them and they be in the middle of the street, that's what really makes me mad. Because I'm like, <laughs> you get out the way. <laughs> Ew, that makes me so upset. Girl. Mm-hmm. You're, you're just seeing them around campus, I'm like, yeah. I can't. Girl, There's just a lot happening. <laughs> Wait, can you For you to know? fold it up and bring it into the lecture hall. <laughs> And they, <laughs> people were bringing them in. They had to put a sign on the door, like, leave the scooters outside. I'm like, what would they bring them in? That what made me so mad. I'm like, why would they- They bring- can't leave them outside. They're going to get taken. <laughs> they got to carry Whoa, this <laughs> You're just walking from up the hill to campus. Whoa. Like, <laughs> oh, that would make me so mad. Oh, God. That's what kills me, because Temple's campus ain't that big. Mm-hmm. For the people that I know you live on campus, I know you got a yeah. dorm. What? <laughs> put that school out the door and walk up the hill. <laughs> like, exactly. Oh Girl, that's it's a rough life. I mean, you, what school you're at? You're not at Georgia Tech. I'm at Georgia State. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Okay. I commute to school. Um, it's about 15, 20 minutes, maybe. It's not too far. But okay. in the morning. So maybe with traffic about 30 minutes but normally I just get through it because my classes are like 8 a.m I'm lying nine <laughs> because I cannot get up at eight trying to go to somebody's class right so my classes start at nine or 9 30 and oh I have a class on Mondays from 9 a.m to 3 p.m it's <laughs> Girl, let me see. If I what? Not, girl. what class is that? It's an esports class. It's the Georgia oh. Film Academy class. Um, it's required to graduate. So yeah. It was either that or the somebody said they seen the journalism path. I didn't see that, but even if I did see it, I probably wouldn't have took it no way because I might be in there doing all that writing. Uh-uh. <laughs> I like to write because I have a pretty handwriting, but writing all them pictures <laughs> and article, the research, no, ma'am. They. <laughs> I like to write because I got pretty handwriting. If I write, it's pretty, but doing two four pages, no, ma'am, not me. No, that's how <laughs> I started with sports stuff because. I started my own blog in high school Mm -hmm. because I had a lot to say. None of my friends knew nothing about women's sports. And I was like, all right, well, I know you're going to listen to me, but like, y'all not going to talk back to me. So let's just not do this. (laughs) So I started my own blog. And then the summer after I graduated high school, I started writing for this website, Beyond Women's Sports. And I was doing like articles on MMA, basketball, hockey, soccer, tennis. That's a lie. Not tennis. (laughs) You already discovered I can't do that softball whatever else I could figure out well enough um but yeah even even that and mind you I was in school for writing at at the time I went to high school for writing I started college for writing Mm -hmm. writing is hard now (laughs) I know you You got to tell me because I was in a journalism class like an elective and it was a news writing class Mm -hmm. He was so to the T on stuff. Like, it was just too much of me. And I knew I would have to be with him the rest of my senior year. I was like, mm-hmm. sign me up. I'll take six hour class today. And it's only on Mondays. And we don't even stand there till three o'clock. Um, like today, we got out at like 1.45. So it's not too bad. And we got an hour lunch break. So we're really not in there for six hours. So. You're really trying to sell this. This ah! is <laughs> just not working. Because... It could not be, I okay, could not do it. Granted, the way my classes are set up, I'm practically in classes from nine to four anyway, but it's it's yeah. variety, you know? It's not the same well, thing. I can understand because, okay, Tuesdays, my first class starts at 9.30, ends at 10.45. Then this, I just have a bunch of gaps in my schedule. Like, I don't know why. So aggravating. And my last class starts at 4.30 and ends at seven. So, you know... I just go chill in the little office and talk to them. I'll be ready to go Mm-mm. home. I can't do that. I have one three-hour lecture mm-hmm. right now. Struggling. 
granted it might just be the class itself it might not be the three hours i'm not sure which one it is <laughs> but they're definitely not helping each other in this situation <laughs> oh i definitely understand because before i go to the club I'm like, let me go to starbucks no i don't need to go there. no i don't need to go but i'm like i need to go start i need something to get me through it mm. so I, I understand and there's a coffee shop in my major's building too so <laughs> it's a setup they did <laughs> exactly that's definitely, up. That's definitely a setup. That's definitely a setup. Because the Starbucks is right across the street. I'm like, oh, I can walk across the road. <laughs> Let me go over here and get this, this look up. It's so messy. I don't, I've, I've decided I'm not going to drink Starbucks anymore. I made this decision almost a year ago. I'm very proud of myself. But I'm also a barista. So, like, I know how to make the drinks of my own if I want to. But I'm just oh, like, yeah. one, Starbucks, you expensive. Let's be real. You, 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 the higher end of the, of the coffee places. And it's not all that different from most other coffee places. You can and, go there and get the same thing. like Exactly. And y'all just a little sus as a company. And I don't know <laughs> if I morally want to align myself with something that's a little sus as a company. So let me just take my step back. But I definitely have been saving some money for sure. I know it because Normally, I have this big water jug, and I just fill it up with water. I'm like, I'm not going to drink nothing else. I'm not going to do nothing else. And I kind of stick to it. But here, look, I've been going to Starbucks. I don't know why, though. I literally don't know why. See, I, <laughs> the first <laughs> time I started at a coffee job, mm -hmm. because we can like I can just make myself drinks for free when I'm bored. So I would oh. just be making drink after drink. I <laughs> had, um, I think it was 60 ounces of caffeine yep um by the time my morning shift was over then had to go to my other job right after that so i get to my other job i'm bouncing off the walls everybody else don't want to be there not feeling it meanwhile i'm just like living my best life <laughs> now, see, and i was like yeah I this is dangerous i like to get the little frappuccinos and call it a day or frappes whatever they call them Mm. like the vanilla i don't do caffeine all the time i know i have a friend she's like two o'clock in the afternoon oh yeah bring me a cup of coffee i'm like bro what <laughs> <laughs> like coffee in the morning i'm like i'm not drinking no coffee at two o'clock <laughs> no man Shoot, i'll drink coffee at six o'clock y'all got it because not me y'all got it because not me no man listen i used to be really big on energy drinks I'm getting better. That was, my, that was another thing. I was like, I got to chill because I was drinking bang energy drinks, which are like double the amount in a monster. What? On a daily basis. Oh, girl, I'm scared of you. <laughs> Granted, I was, listen, I was working two jobs in school. I was going through it. But... You, need it. you probably just need it. You need the energy. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> I had to learn my lesson. Rooster Booster from QT that was like that was an energy drink, uh, energy drink. I didn't know that I was drinking them, getting them out the fountain, the big cups. I was like, oh, this, is a, this is an energy drink. I said, Oh, let me stop drinking this, baby, because I don't do that. <laughs> I didn't know what it was it tasted good, it tastes like strawberry. I was like, Love strawberry, so <laughs> mm -hmm. that's how they get you. Yes, that's really how they get you because they put them flavors on there and be like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strawberry pineapple and boom, there you go, addicted. Oh no. See, I was set up because the first time I drank a bang energy drink, I was on a road trip with two of my friends to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We oh, stopped God. at a rest stop, looked in the vending machine, and it said unicorn something. That was the name of the flavor. And I was like, well, if you tell me it's a unicorn flavor, I'm gonna try it because <laughs> that's how they get you. Exactly. What does that mean? Me and my best friend both took like two sips each up <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> that's how they get us like that's crazy oh my god that's crazy uh, -uh. when they told but, me who's the was the injury i said don't worry about it i won't get it <laughs> mm. no worry about it don't worry don't you worry about it <laughs> don't even worry about it because i'm not doing it <laughs> mm. <laughs> so in like you're in your are you in what year are you in oh i am in my senior year honey okay that's I'm what I, i'll i'll be liking to assume people's year based on like it, baby. other information <laughs> because 
you know, sometimes like I'm supposed to be a junior. They just told me I'm a sophomore now. Mm-hmm. I was really, <laughs> what you mean? I was a This is ready to go. I wish they would play me like that. But what? So really, what? I transferred to Temple. Mm-hmm. They told me, yeah, your credits are going to come over. Like you're still going to be the same level, going to graduate at the same time, everything. Right. Like, all right, cool. That's great. I go to meet my advisor because they have a plus program where you can get your master's and your bachelor's. So I'm like, all right, like, can I do this? And da, da, da. She's like, oh, see, you're already behind and you already going to have to take 18 credits every semester. So you can't do that. And <laughs> because I just looked at your transfer credits and technically you're a sophomore. <laughs> what because my financial information says that I paid for two years of college already but you know what I'm gonna take it as a blessing because simple got a lot of benefits and I'm gonna take advantage of all of them while I'm here (laughs) and get as much information as I can I guess that's a way to look at it baby because somebody would have been on the ground (laughs) I was I was struggling, but then she was like, because you went to an art school, transferring over to like a more like whatever. I was like, all right, I get it. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. But y'all shouldn't have told me I would have been the same levels. Y'all wasn't sure I would have been the same level. <laughs> yeah, you said something beforehand. But oh, what's been one of your favorite um, classes in your major so far? Oh, Lord. I know when I get this question, I just get, I don't know. Let me think. Okay, one of my favorite classes, probably my event management class. Um, it's a hospitality class. Well, that's not my major, but it's in the pathway that I want to go. <laughs> but event management, that was so cool because I made like the event proposal for a mock event that we had for a project or whatever. Um, I really liked that because that gave me like the intel of like what I should do moving forward and it connected me to some people in the industry as well. So I like that class and probably a class that's like actually in my major. I'll probably say the sponsorship class that I'm in now because I'm learning more about like how people display ads um, in the different venues, like the name and rights to stadiums, stuff that I didn't know about sponsorships. So I like that. That's pretty cool just to learn about what all goes on behind the scenes and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But me personally, sponsorship and fundraising i would not do it I would not. <laughs> that was a quick turnaround <laughs> yeah, i'm bad at numbers i'm bad at numbers. so <laughs> you, you got want some financial done don't call me but i it's Agreed. just interesting. <laughs> worry it's just interesting to see like what people do because we had somebody to come in from the olympics and talk to us about sponsorship like the nike and polo deal that the olympics have um what every four years so mm-hmm. that was really interesting to learn about, like, the different villages and how they get their fittings together. I really enjoyed that. So if it's something like that, I'm more so like a <laughs> not too much work type person. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to deal with no financial numbers. I don't want to do too much paperwork. But events is really like the Olympics thing that he was telling us about, like, just getting stuff together. I like that. I like playing. I don't want to do nothing else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, want do else. I want to plan it out and then we'll go from there. <laughs> mm. So that was <laughs> girl. Mm-mm. At least you at least you know your limits. Yeah, because I'm not about to do a bad job. <laughs> like, <laughs> Facts. Y'all won't be talking about me. Talking about ever did this. No, she didn't. Facts. I already know. Mm-mm. See, I'm the like. I'm a big supporter of this idea of I'm gonna apply even if I don't know <laughs> if I can feel that need because that it's just like you never know and it's worked for me too many times for me to <laughs> not do it because I can do. learn right whatever I decide I need to learn when I need to learn it if it's not mm-hmm. serving me right now it's not yeah. serving me right now but if you gonna if you're gonna offer me this position all right then like we, we can, it's got a purpose now we are we working with it we're together. But like I know a lot of people my um professors always make fun of the students for this because 
especially because a lot of like some of my sports classes are freshmen oh, or yeah. incoming transfers. So mm-hmm. it'd be like, oh, well, what do you want to do in the sports industry? I want to work in the NFL. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> you want to do with the NFL? I don't know. I just want to work for an NFL team. <laughs> just, just take me out. It's a, it's a few you steps mean? missing. What do, you, <laughs> what do you mean you want to work for the NBA? <laughs> what you going to do there? <laughs> Sweep the floor? Like, what? What do you want to do? <sighs> and I can understand because they're freshmen, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me and how I was raised like I always know like what I want to do like a plan and like mm-hmm. I said, like planning I don't want to be lost but <laughs> I need to know what's going on Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I, I feel that I'm like I don't I plan I don't know if I plan well <laughs> but I'm getting better at it <laughs> that's what matters you got a path to follow that's all that matters exactly like all right I know I know I'm going this way. It's going to get me to this and we're going to do that. And it's going to be fine. My issue is I want to do too many things. And it's like, okay, what's the priority? What makes the most sense? What's going to get me to where I need to get, when I need to get there. And it's like, (laughs) oh, I need more time of the day. I need some like, because I got, I got all these talents. I got to do so with them. I can't just let them sit here. I that I'm the same way like I want to do so much stuff and I'm like lord I don't have the time for it I really don't but I say I don't have the time for it but then I'll catch myself laying in the bed strolling on TikTok baby TikTok my weakness I don't I don't even care TikTok my weakness so bad like I'm like get up ever you watching other people do stuff that you could be doing yourself just I don't know First of all, I feel attacked because I absolutely do the same thing. <laughs> and I'm trying to get better at it. But I let myself slide because <laughs> in my head, I'm like, you know what? You just did how many classes? You work two jobs. What? You need this. This is your rest. Okay, this is your little, I'm like, you know. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. This, this is my break. This is me time. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you got to do that. Other times I'm like, all right. You've been breaking a little too much. Get really? up. But I can't. I don't get TikTok. <laughs> I don't get it. You I'm like, TikTok. and I've taken like several digital marketing classes too. I think digital marketing is really fun. TikTok's the one thing I don't understand. Instagram, got it. What? Twitter, eh. Instagram, I mean, TikTok, I can't do it. Even like posting stuff on my account, I'm like, I don't, I, there's too many trends none of them really make sense but like they're here do I keep up with the trend do I just post myself doing something stupid like <laughs> see this is where people be telling me the same thing too they're like tiktok is not for me I'm like what what y'all think I'd be looking at the people dancing because I don't because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like tiktok has so many different things on there like um date night outfits game day outfit like i really be looking at the little outfits that some of the women post cooking tutorials it's a lot of oh my you don't get it lord oh. I, i'll watch it like i like my little for you pages real nice and curated you know i know what i'm going to get when i go Same. on there Same. but when it comes to posting i can't i don't i don't know it's just it's too like it's just too much. <laughs> it's too much, too much access. <laughs> like, I don't know who finna see this. No, it is a lot mm. of it, though. like if you don't have your page probably because I just posted a TikTok today. And the thing with TikTok is reason why I don't post on there for real about sports stuff and everything, because it's slower than Instagram. Like, cause it, I think because it's so well, it's a lot of people on Instagram. But it's so many people doing the same things on TikTok and also Instagram. But Instagram, it's like your stuff takes off quicker than TikTok because you could post a reel tonight and just have 30 viewers before you go to bed. But you can get up in the morning and maybe it's like two, 300 viewers or however many. But with TikTok, they're a tough audience. Like, mm-hmm. they drag you in them comments and it... it <laughs> people are heartless. Audience they very much are so that's why i have to be careful about what i post on tiktok because i'm like because somebody says something to me i'm gonna get it to it so <laughs> I, just <have> to be- <laughs> I 
have to be real careful because those people don't care. But Instagram, I can understand where you're coming from. Instagram is very much reserved, I think, to me. It's more reserved than TikTok. For sure. I didn't understand Twitter for a long time either. I only started using Twitter oh, when yeah. I started writing for that website because I had to promote it. And granted, I think yeah. when it comes to the women's sports side, Twitter is definitely the place to be. Mm-hmm. I just don't grasp posting the randomest stuff of my mind <laughs> on Twitter because I'm just like... Not you attacking me. <laughs> no, because <laughs> it's just like... Or like my thoughts really don't be making sense. It's like, I don't want to post this. <laughs> so you post something, go forward. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, nobody knows what I'm talking about. It's just there. Mm-hmm. I just see like, what? Like, I just can't do and it. I'm pretty sure people see my tweets and they're probably like, what's she talking about today? It just stroll right on by. And I'm perfectly fine with it because this is me. Like, this is me. I don't care. I don't care if you read it and don't understand. Bye. It's not mm-hmm. me. That's the energy I need in my life. That's what I need to pull out. Even with like Instagram stories, I'm always like, especially when like more athletes started to follow me, I was like, okay, yeah, all right, <laughs> maybe I should think a little bit more about what I'm about to put on here. Yeah. But also, this is my page. Like, this is my personal page. <laughs> That's how I be feeling. Like when people are like, oh, you need to watch this. This is my page. I'm gonna post what I want to post. Like, how are you to tell me? I can't post what I want to post on my page. Now, granted, I'm not about to post no crazy mess, but still, like, if I want to post me in the club smoking hookah, why can't I do that? Like, what's the problem? Mm-hmm. I can understand, like, if you're posting professional stuff and on the same page. Now, that's a that's a big no-no for me. Like, I'm not doing that. That's why I have certain pages for certain things. So, mm-hmm. I, I feel you for sure. People are always like, oh, well, you need to watch out for when you apply the job. I'm like, it's nothing crazy though. Like, so why do I need to make myself fake? That's why I feel like it is. Yeah, I'm not showing my authentic self. So what's the that's point? what LinkedIn is for. <laughs> that's what LinkedIn is for. <laughs> Don't come looking on my Instagram because I have a LinkedIn page and a resume. Be for real. Mm-mm. <laughs> Before. that's why like one of my friends was like oh why don't you just post your podcast stuff on your person like which I like I'll repost my stuff on my page so like my friends can see it but what? I'm not gonna just primarily post it on my page because no. I'm not just my podcast like if I'm doing other stuff why? it needs to be separate if somebody's looking for my podcast they don't want to see my personal <laughs> my personal <laughs> information like having fun out like that's not what they call <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, like, sure, it it might be interesting sometimes. Most yeah. of the time, it's not. But like, that's not <laughs> what we're here for. It's but so social media is weird. And, like, mm-hmm. It can be exhausting sometimes. Yeah, I oh yeah, I definitely think social media can be exhausting, and it can also be fake because you can see, like, I had classmates posting all these different types of things. I'm like, dang, what am I doing? Like, am I behind? So I really feel like sometimes people get caught up too much into the luxury side and people aren't even living like that for real. Like Mm -hmm. never, you never know what people are doing behind those accounts. So I just try to stay to myself and just post content that is really me. Like I'm really out here living like this. Like I'm not faking it. This is what I'm doing for real. So Mm -hmm. you just can't get caught up into other people's lives because that is where you mess up at. For sure. Mm-hmm. It's like I was talking to somebody the other day. So we were like, when Instagram first started, it was the most ridiculous stuff. Like it did not matter. It was, uh-huh. oh, I just ate this sandwich. Look at the sunset. And like now, <laughs> now that's like, oh, that that's looked down upon. That's not what this is. And it's like, right. but like, it's is lonely. it really though? <laughs> bad because you know how people be doing dumps and stuff and like mm-hmm. on pages. So it's slowly coming back, but. I think people are just too caught up in the hype right now. Exactly. It's too much. I was like, listen, Instagram was started as a type of blog situation. And that's what I'm used to. <laughs> like, I'm not that person right. at all. 
I just I don't even feel good trying to be that person like I instantly can tell when something doesn't feel like all right I'm not like let me chill (laughs) but I know I know when I get too caught up when I'm too caught up into looking for a caption that's how I know (laughs) I know too caught up into it because for my birthday I was like "Mm, I'm gonna post I just turned 22 like let me find a (laughs) caption and I just got too I just got too caught up in it. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. uh, hello, girl. Chill out. It's not you. That's my sister's to the T. And I am not, I will put an uh, emoji and walk away. <laughs> like, it don't even have to be related. It could just be the first emoji I've seen. I'm not going to spend all this time thinking about it because either you're going to think it's corny or right. you're just not going to care. So, <laughs> somebody probably laughing at my birthday caption as we speak. I don't care. Like, <laughs> that's what I wanted to put on there. <laughs> oh my god oh it's my like god. even looking back at my when I did have a spam in like high school it's just mm-hmm. like why was I like why was that what I decided to put on there I no, when I was zero sense the but I know home, I spent hours deciding what it was going to be because when I look back at my Facebook page and like the memories come up from this day 10 years ago I'm like, what was I typing in all caps? Like, what is it? <laughs> what was it? 10 years ago, not 12. Yeah, like 10 years ago. Oh, Facebook, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> let me see, because when was like 10 years ago, I was like, no way I've been on Facebook this long. Yeah. I distinctly remember when I made my first Facebook account, I was in elementary school and my sister came home and said, Dad, you know your daughter just made an account on her birthday is before yours? <laughs> Look at that, 11 years ago. Bro, that is wild. <laughs> Had no business. No business. Zero I was, business. I was 11 years old. That's so crazy. Girl. Dude, when I first found my old Twitter account from middle school, bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> now, see, I went to middle school. My oh, username was misspelled everything. Bad. <laughs> no, because the little old Snapchat names, when people found out they could change their Snapchat names, that was hilarious. Like, it was like, oh, I don't want to be Miss Juicy Fruit no more. I'm like, you shouldn't have never been that. No way. Like, what? <laughs> you shouldn't have never had that as your name. Like, be for real. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Social media is juicy fruit guy. on Snapchat is crazy because you know they were probably like 13 when they made that what? in the first place. Like, what do you know about juicy fruit? Why is why is that your name? No. <laughs> Bro, my first username on all social media was Little Missy. Or uh, everything. No, it was Little Miss Perfection. <laughs> then it was Little Missy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss. <laughs> that ain't too bad. That 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 fit like somebody that's your. I don't know where yeah. the cockiness and confidence went, but I needed to go back because looking, <laughs> looking back then, even looking at my Snapchat because I don't use Snapchat anymore. Don't yeah. feel the vibe. Same. Feel like it's it's old, but mm-hmm. every once in a while I go back and I look at my memories and I'm like, well, first of all. Why did I think this was it? Like, why did I think this was the thing to post? But who did I think I was that people would care that I was doing this? No, for real. I'm like, why would I post this? Like, why would I even say that? Some of the stuff, because a lot of my stuff was on Facebook. It was just the all caps for me. I would never get over that. Like, and then... Look you were excited. The, <laughs> I think it was. Look at the pictures, girl. I had a bang. Why did I have a bag? <laughs> Why? Stop. Let me find this picture right <laughs> now. I quit playing. Quit playing. <laughs> Girl, I was looking on Facebook. I'm like, why was I wearing a bag? Oh, it was just crazy. It was Stop. I found this picture. I didn't even find this picture. One of my friends sent me this picture from like 10 years ago on my aunt's Instagram account. Not even like, I don't know how she came across this. Yeah. But I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What the world would they get that from? <laughs> Girl, no way. That was us, baby. That was us back in the day. Thought we was cute. <laughs> I was like, why would you remind me of that ever? Like, I didn't need to see that. They, but they do that so well. I'm I thought I was that person. 
Like, why would you even say, oh, this was you eight years ago? <laughs> I didn't need it. Like, I did not need to see that. They be trying to trigger people. <laughs> That's what it is. And when I had Snapchat, the Snapchat memories used to remind you. I'm like, girl, mm-hmm. that was high school. I want to see that no more. <laughs> Yeah, I was the one in high school. I had everything on recording. I was <laughs> my camera was always out because I could not remember anything. My memory is shot. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna make sure I record it. So one day, and to this day, I'm the one everybody messages. Yo, you got this video? Yup. Let me go on my Snapchat. <laughs> the world that is crazy. Uh, Listen, um, I somebody had to do it, and it was me. I took I took the okay. role very seriously. <laughs> But it's it it's very interesting to look back and remember. That's like with songs. Like I was listening to a song day, and I remember when the song came out. I remember when the album mm-hmm. came out. That makes me so mad because I'm like, why? Did, <laughs> like why? That makes you I, mad? It don't make me mad, but it doesn't make me like. Why can I recall how I was feeling that day? Like it's so crazy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'll just roll with it. I mean, I, I heard a song. It. it was, you know, Wanted by Hunter Hayes. It came out like like a few years ago. And it's like, I just want to wrap you up when I kiss your lips. I, I want to make yeah. you feel wanted. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know that song. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, <laughs> oh, it's that was. It was, I don't even, I don't know where he at now. I'm pretty sure he released that album, Disappeared, but Oh god. That song mm-hmm. and he had a song that came out with that called um I don't want crazy or something like that. And it was just like two like really like standard country songs, love oh. songs. And they came on my playlist the other day because I've been listening to like all of the songs I've ever liked on my Spotify from like when I made it in like elementary school to now. Yeah. <laughs> and I literally, I was like, why do I know every single word? And I was so, I was so hyped. Because I was just like, yo, this was such, like, this was really my song. That's how and, like, it's it's so weird when you have that experience. <laughs> like, it is, like, it's very weird. Because I'm just like, how can my body remember this? <laughs> like, I could just, like, when, because I'm a big Drake fan. So when he dropped, what was that, Scorpion? Yeah, when he dropped Scorpion. I remember where I was at. I was at my nene house in the bed. I was literally waiting. And I just remember listening to the whole album. Like, I felt like I was in the studio with him. So <laughs> it was just crazy. So question, because you already you already struggle as an Atlanta sports fan. Oh, what God. made you <laughs> decide oh, to be a Drake fan? Like, I... <laughs> I'm so over you. I'm so over <laughs> you. <laughs> Valid question. Valid question. Why do we put ourselves through struggle? I'm gonna be struggling with Drake. You know, they be talking about him talking about he a light skin poppy and want to be. I don't care about that. The music speaks for itself, and that's just that. That's just that. I'm not a Drake non-liker um I used to like Drake in like middle school elementary school I was vibing with it I like some of his music now Mm -hmm. I just don't enjoy that every album sounds like a different person wrote it (laughs) oh my god that is the biggest problem people have to say about Drake oh he faking this exit I'm like baby which is fine I don't care. You want to use a ghostwriter? Go ahead. Do your thing. They get their money. You get your money. Period. However, if you go and use one, like be consistent. Don't just go from being R and B with the weekend writing your first album to then wanting to be street guy and like none of it matches energy. Like <laughs> I just feel like he just he just having fun. He just having fun. But and I, I respect it. Great. Like, he don't do nothing. He be staying out of the mix. Nah, some people on the other hand, you know, they be all up in it, but he just... He that sounded really personal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were... <laughs> Listen, because the way I was on Twitter last week and I saw everything unfolding, that was just a lot for me. I felt like I was in the... <laughs> Twitter is a 
It was a wild place to be. There was beef on Twitter last night. <laughs> like, there's a lot going on. And too much. Too much. It's, I don't got the space in my brain to keep up with it. But oh, seriously, I see the little recaps. <laughs> As my friend, I'm like, what happened? Like, I'm like yeah, what happened? Like, we know these people for real. That's that's how crazy that's how it is. Like, that's how crazy it is. But that's I really, I enjoy Drake's music. Like, even his old music, I can just go back and listen to it. And I just feel like it's my first time listening to it. I don't know. I respect that. I have um his first album on vinyl. Oh, and what? that's always a bop to listen to so i i'm not a drake hater i <laughs> support i just had to ask the question i just had to because i feel like what like this is not uncommon for people to just continually put you know what it is it's a trauma response it's a trauma <laughs> response it's like the struggle becomes the usual and <laughs> that's what you're looking for. And I get it. I respect it. You know, I'm trying to think of an artist myself that I would say I like that struggle so I can relate to you and make you feel a little bit better. But if I'm being honest, most wow. of my artists pretty fire. So I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know. I don't know what okay. to tell you. I will say my favorite artist is Bruno Mars. It's one of my favorites. Has always been since I was a child. Don't laugh at me. Since I was a child, Bruno Mars has been one of my favorites to this day. His Super Bowl performance, I watch it all the time. Still one of my favorites. You cannot tell me that Super Bowl performance was not good. <laughs> I don't care what you say. It was good. You could come up with nobody better. Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even mad. I love Bruno and I love... What he part of Silk Sonic? Ain't that what it's called? Yeah, Silk Sonic. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say nothing else. I'm just gonna let you have it because you already have a hard time being being from Philly with sports. So I'm gonna just let you have Bruno. Bro, just you know, like okay. <laughs> he's okay. Who else do I like? I like um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bruno caught me off guard right there. Caught <laughs> you off guard? What was you expecting to come out of my mouth? Because I was ready you know, for it. Like the weekend or somebody. <laughs> um, my old roommate used to really like the weekend. Mm. I like the weekend's music that I've heard. I just never looked enough into them to like, yeah. have a connection. Mm. There's this one artist from Jersey, 070 Shake, who is my favorite artist period i've seen her like three times this year mm -hmm. she was on you you know i don't even want to say this man's name oh, because man. i refuse to acknowledge him as a person at this point but um the man who <laughs> um the ex-husband of kim kardashian let's just say that i knew that um, say, but okay. <laughs> i already knew his song ghost town do you know that song i don't listen to him <laughs> good um she was on that song and that's how she blew up really mm -hmm. but she's a really good artist okay um and i love everything she does i'll send you some of her music since you hating on my bruno i had to throw somebody else in there i'm not hating um, bruno i love i love bruno keep the door open like I it was a lot of laughing <laughs> there's a lot of laughing over there it was, and, just, it was just like she like Bruno. <laughs> have you seen? Is he on this? Hold up. I he is. So look, I'm ready. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm so weak. <laughs> you are so funny. Okay, I have a skateboard. Oh, Mind you, I don't know how to skateboard, but okay. <laughs> I made this in the pandemic because I thought I was gonna learn because I was bored. And I put some of my favorite artists on it. And guess who's on there? Bruno Mars is oh. <laughs> right there. Bruno Mars, we got Jilly from Philly Scott over here. Hold up. Okay, we love dude. her. Um, Outcast. I told y'all everybody loves Atlanta music, but you know. Listen, I'm, I mean. I'm keep right there. I'm going to keep it right there. <laughs> I love Atlanta as a whole. I don't just take the music. Um, I, I granted. 
I don't remember the last time I've been to Atlanta. I'm pretty sure I was like six, but I think I liked it <laughs> when I, I was there. Like, everybody loved it. I can tell by the traffic, everybody loved it because it seemed like every day it's 10,000 new people. I'm like, what's going on? Mm-mm, that's how I feel walking around Temple Campus <laughs> because I grew up in North Philly. Okay. So I, for, first of all, I didn't want to go to Temple for a long time because I was like, y'all gentrifying my neighborhood. <laughs> I didn't watch y'all destroy how many buildings to build this goddamn oh. college. I'm not going here. I'm like, give me all my money. Oh, um, my fast forward, here we are. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just like, my old school was so small mm-hmm. that I didn't fully realize how small it was until I got to Temple and I was like yo it's really like this many people at this school like this is crazy and it's only 13% black by the way oh okay well that's not, that's a good number I'm gonna give it's you a good one. number but it's not a great number for it's a great number <laughs> but it's a good number it's a little okay. zone <laughs> I'm, gonna give y'all I, I'm so sick of the Georgia State is not a HBCU Georgia State is not a PBI mm-hmm. We know we're not an HBCU. We're a PBI, a publicly black institution. Like majority of the people at Georgia State is black. So at the end of the day, it really don't matter to me because I'm just there to get the education. Like <laughs> that's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to get my degree and going about my business. But like every month or it, every week, it's always an argument about how many black people are at the school or whatever the case. I'm like does it matter like we're all black and we're in school like just be happy just be happy <laughs> we could be somewhere else like just just be happy that we're in school Ooh, we're all black and we're in school amen i'm gonna say that to somebody <laughs> next time i'm gonna <laughs> next time i'm on campus with a lot of black people be like listen literally that's all that matters <laughs> just tell them we black and we in school we get an education because <laughs> the odds was against us so let it go mm. <laughs> That's how I am at this point because my old school, I love my I love my original college all throughout mm-hmm. high school. I was like, yeah, this is where I'm going. You can't tell me nothing. As soon as I got in, don't care about no other school. Don't need their letters. Yep, this is where I'm going. Oh, no. Um, got there. And it was just so hard being like a person of color in that space. Uh, yeah. Because it's like one, we only had one person of color in our professors for my major um, out of everybody what there was like very little black professors in general in the school I did I only met two black staff members of the school in my time there um oh no exactly um and I was a writing major at the time Mm -hmm. and the amount of times where I was told oh you can't do this or you can't do that because it wasn't accommodating to my white classmates was ridiculous exactly um so i was like yeah i can't can't do this this is not working out for me (laughs) i was going up out of there too because who can do what like y'all would quit playing (laughs) but tell them to step the game up (laughs) no ma'am that i Mm -mm. i just don't understand like i don't know i don't understand how we're living in this time and it's still like we're still being put into a bubble of things that we can't do, but other people can do it before we can. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they said the blueprint, now we have to come behind. Like, no, I'm not about to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to set the blueprint and y'all can follow behind. It, it, you don't even <laughs> want to follow behind. I don't care. Like, I'm about to do what I want to do because this is my life. Like, you can't tell me what to do. <sighs> it's crazy. But I'm glad you got the part of the girl. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, like, a oh, video. Video. I was like, ooh. I was like, once I saw the way my grades was dropping, because yeah. I was like, ooh, because it was like it was really having a mental effect on me. And I was like, yeah, this is not yeah. it ain't the move. I'm not paying all this money for this. Right. Let me get out of here. Um, I already had an apartment at that point. So I was like, Psh, I'm not leaving Philly at this point. Like, I got a lease. <laughs> I got a lease. Where are we going? Sorry. Temple was. <laughs> oh wow. Well, hey, Temple better than none. So <laughs> sure, I love it so far. Temple made Temple proud, whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, far, I like every experience I've had. I have one class called Sport and Society, my favorite class, taught by a black woman. Walked oh, okay. in. I was like, oh my God. 
<laughs> For real, I was like, oh, yo, I was like, it, it was a 9 a.m. class too. So I was like, I don't know. I was like, all right, I can't just be skipping now. Like, <laughs> I gotta be here now. I got to be here. I got to be, I got to show up for this night. <laughs> Literally, it's just every class is me and this one guy, Will, going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Every class. And it'll be like, we'll both be on the same side, but just. Right making completely different points and nobody else talking and it's like the two of us because nobody else will talk so like i'm a, yeah. if nobody gonna talk i'm gonna talk <laughs> i got things oh, to say because we're gonna sit in silence before i say something <laughs> please <laughs> oh my God, listen if you want to pay your thousands of dollars and not speak that's fine i'll pay a thousand dollars a class i'm gonna speak i'm gonna make sure i know what's going on <laughs> oh, oh my God. i was just because when they start debating in class because some of the stuff I would say, I know they're going to get mad at me. So I just shut my mouth. <laughs> so I'll be like, mm-hmm. you know what? I don't even got time for it today. Because I know it's this one dude in my class. <sighs> he like the freaking sports dictionary. He know everything. And I'm like, you think you're better than us? Like, <laughs> do you think you're better than us? You don't know everything. Sometimes you can be taught things. So, I just sit in the class. I look. If somebody speak to me, you know, I'm going to speak and try to talk to them about that. But we're getting into debates in class. They they have to take me out because I get too intense. So <laughs> yeah, I I'm too into it. I've gotten better at like saying calm because I like it's one thing if you want to have a debate and you don't know how to debate. Yeah. It's another thing. If you want to have a debate and you can actually back up what you're saying, even if I don't agree, like if I know you're at least actively passionate about what you're saying, you're trying to make a point. All right, sure. I'll listen to you. Like we can have a conversation. Like the one guy I go back and forth with all the time, disagree. Like one time we were talking about, we were were talking, I was talking to the professor about the WNBA and he starts off. I'm not going to say, I don't think women and men should be equal in sports, but I just feel like, I was like, whoa. That's what give me oh, right there. That's, that's a wild me. way to start a statement. I don't think I'm the right person to talk to. But I was like, I want to hear what you're going to say because I need to correct you, whatever you're about to say. Because I don't think it's going to make sense. And once we started talking, I was like, okay, at least you're using some logical thinking to get to what you're trying to say. Right. So like, I can't even be mad, but like, we going to talk about it. Because I'm not just gonna be okay with you saying that. Worry, <laughs> like girl. at this point, I just be like, okay, y'all, say what y'all want to say. Because if I say what I want to say, y'all gonna be mad. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a hurt of feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt of feelings. I'm hurt of feelings. So I'm gonna let y'all hit it. <laughs> I literally was just in the class like, oh, okay, cute. Sometimes people need to be caught out. Like one time we was talking about. This is the one time I got really upset. We were talking about mental health. Oh, <laughs> no. Athletes. We're talking about the mental health of athletes. And specifically, we we're talking about substance abuse mm. in professional sports. Mm. And I was like, well, like, there shouldn't just be punishment. There should be some sort of reaching out, making sure they're okay, trying to figure right. out what is driving them to this because it's happening for a reason. And we were having a whole conversation about it. And just like, I was just like, give them support. Like they need support, whatever. And this one guy was like, I just feel like they make that much amount of money. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Um, like, like if they're like having mental health problems, you're like, you have this much money, like da da da. Like essentially being like, if you like, if you make money, your mental health is irrelevant and like, whatever. And I was like, like, <laughs> like what? And he was dead serious. And he was like, I don't care like they like they know the rules blah 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 and I was just like that's mm. <laughs> like at a certain point me and the professor looked at each other I was like don't don't call on me for the rest of the class <laughs> I will talk to that because I know was that my junior year? yeah last year we had a professor he would love like us doing discussions in class like we were on zoom so he would love for us to do discussions and stuff and then I just feel like if I'm speaking and then you come back trying to like yell or your tone isn't right, then I get mad and I'm ready to mm. go. I'm ready to go at you now. Like, <laughs> because why are you trying to make me feel like my point not valid and yours is? So 
I, I just pick and choose real carefully. That's why majority of the times I sit back and listen. If the teacher got something to say, they may buy a chirp in on it, but <laughs> the little group discussions they be doing, y'all got it. <laughs> y'all got it. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I had this one three hour lecture that be putting me through it is <laughs> about like leadership and management and like running an organization, whatever, whatever. And we had a guest come in and she was like, Research has shown that like one of the traits that businesses want the most is people to be able to work in groups and people don't have that trait and it's getting rarer and rarer. <laughs> I was like, yep, you. <laughs> you right, baby. You. It's me. I guess I'm not working in no group. <laughs> I'm not working in no group. No, man. Well, because our professor now, she loves to do like, oh, get in groups to talk about this and get it. I just sit there. I do have a friend in the class. I turn around, I look at him I'm like, all right, let's go. But anybody else, I don't, I don't know. I like, I don't feel comfortable working in groups with people, especially when they feel like they're the boss over us. If it's collective work, like group work, then nobody's the boss over nobody. Like, I'm not doing all that. We're working together to solve a problem. But once you come in and you feel like you know everything or you want to do everything or you want to dictate, that's where you lost me. Cause I'm not doing mm-hmm. not group work no more. Is you telling us what to do? And I'm not for that. I'm not for valid. <laughs> I'm not for it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> maybe you need to be the facilitator when you when you're in group. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I need to do so because um I'm just not going for it. Not saying that. Because if it's like my boss or somebody, okay, you're yeah, cool. But you coming in trying to tell somebody what to do and you don't even know what to do, like, goodbye. We're working together for a reason. Like, obviously, we can do it by ourselves or they don't want us to do it by ourselves. So we need to work together. Don't come in trying to. And some people like that. They're like, oh, well, I'm the leader. I like to take control. It's a way to do everything. That's my whole point. Like, it's a way to do everything. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll get better one day. <laughs> Maybe I'll get better one day. But right now, it's not going to fly. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in my thoughts, too. That's, we, got, we just racking up the list at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's why, that's why I got a packet, because I talk too much. <laughs> no, because when you first asked me about the podcast, I was like, Lord... I don't like talking. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Because <laughs> I looked at my plan today, I was like, oh snap, I'm supposed to go on the girl podcast. I said, wait a minute. I got to get myself together. I got to get myself together. Because <laughs> I'm such an introvert. Like, I do not like talking. I don't like going out with people. That's why I don't like group work because I don't want to be bothered. But this was actually fun. I liked it. Your injury was really good. So I'm, I'm, I was good. Oh. Thank you. I'm an introvert too. It might not seem like it yeah. in this situation, <laughs> but outside of this, I am an introvert. So like, I have to prep myself up before every podcast recording starts. And I like put on my hype music. Ah! Like, all right. Like this is 30 minute dance party. And we're going to sit down. We're going to get this done. But <laughs> it, ta- it takes a lot. <laughs> it's like the first episode that I had was so structured because I was used to like doing like interviews where it's like, okay, like, what's your experience da, 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 like going down the list of like your standard questions and I was like that's not what I want this to be that wasn't what this was supposed to be at all <laughs> how I gotta I gotta find how I'm gonna get from this to this right. and like thankfully my second guest uh was so like conversational naturally that like I finally felt like all right let me calm down and relax so I've been trying yeah. to do that more with the rest of my episodes but yeah. it, it'd be hard <laughs> <laughs> you did good tonight because everything was just flowing so that was pretty good i liked it oh thank you so much i appreciate it yeah you i really do we're gonna have to talk more because i'm gonna need i'm gonna need some some football knowledge ah, yes yeah. on listen you need to you need to hop on college football you need to hop on it see that's what everybody tells me everybody's like college sports is the way to start when you're trying to understand the sport and then like move up from there but some college sports fan bases be real hard to get into. And <laughs> they, 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 they. 
was like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Just stay over here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the rules in college football is so crazy. Like, I let me hold on. Let me phrase this right. I like to see targeting plays called because I want to know what the ref is going to say this go around because every time, or not even the ref, what the commentators are going to say, because every time a targeting call is called or whatever, it's like, oh, it has to be the crown of the helmet or, oh, he's a defenseless player or, oh, this, I'm like, y'all need to stick to one rule. All I'm <laughs> is the crown of the helmet and here y'all come with, oh, well, he wasn't a defenseless player. I'm like, you know what, this, <laughs> this is crazy. So I guess college is kind of a little, easy way to get into sports like trying to understand it because majority of the rules are kind of like similar with the pros but oh college is just it's my favorite like I love it I love the Falcons <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm trying to see my original college didn't have no sports that was another issue it was, oh, <laughs> it was, it was, it was a pile up no right. sports teams at all so I would already be coming to Temple stuff anyway <laughs> um, so now it works out but right. I, I I was late to the college sports game. I didn't have the the privilege of being in a school with sports teams. So now I'm like, all right, like homecoming. What we got a homecoming? I didn't. I never had one of those before. I'm trying to see what that's oh, like. Like, <laughs> listen, sis. I'm so glad you got a homecoming now because ours is at the end of the month, and I'm so excited. So I excited. mean, it it wasn't all. It wasn't all. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I definitely know because ours isn't gonna be all there, but it's just the fact that it's happening, you know, like you're gonna see people on campus that you normally don't see. So I kind of mm-hmm. like that feeling. I wish we had a concert, but you know, it's cool. We don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. We used to, we didn't do one this year though. We were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, oh, <no. laughs> okay, we had the football game that we lost. And then we had a little parade and like, okay. <laughs> oh, lost my God. homecoming. Stop. And we lost to Rutgers too. And <laughs> I messaged <laughs> my one friend about it because she was like, oh, I didn't realize we were playing y'all, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that was real rude of y'all to beat us at our homecoming. But like, I guess. And she was like, yeah, and we beat y'all soccer team last week too. Okay. Like, you didn't have to say all that. Not to you. <laughs> Calm down. I only came in here with one issue. You bring it up a thousand other ones. I didn't even know y'all played rock. <laughs> like, dang. Like, it, it was, was giving crazy. real rude. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe y'all will win next homecoming because that was crazy. <laughs> Hopefully. And they got the same colors as us. So I was confused the whole game. If I'm here. <laughs> that is crazy. Now that's too much. They make that colors. I was like, this is out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is sickening. Like they should make y'all put somebody else. <laughs> Ridiculous. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get to some more football games. I usually work when they have them because we play at the Eagle Stadium. We don't have our own stadium. Yeah, I heard. Which is cool on one hand, because it's like, oh, we play in an NFL stadium, but it's also like one, we pay a lot of money. We <laughs> pay a lot of money for that. Yeah, right. But you know, once again, there's no space. <laughs> There's no space to have a stadium, so we, we struggle busting it. Philly sports. <laughs> Dude, gotta do it's a struggle. Do. I didn't even know Temple was D one until somebody told me, and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> now you know what? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'd be out of the loop. I'm telling you. I'm I knew we were like up there. I didn't process it because I don't think about the division separations that much so when they said it I was like oh (laughs) I'm glad you know now now. (laughs) listen I'm learning okay okay it's only it's only I only been there for three months (laughs) two months so I don't know (laughs) hey don't don't be too heavy on me (laughs) got to start somewhere that's all that matters thank you I'll be trying I really am. I'm gonna get my watch. I'm gonna get my football knowledge together. Yeah. And one day you're not even going. You be like, that's not even the same person because I'm gonna just know so much. I'm gonna just be spitting it out. I'm gonna yeah. be like, yo, how you learn all that? Yeah. I don't know. We wait. It was just in me. I just had to find it. That's what. <laughs> yes, we waiting for it. <laughs> watch. Oh, randomly, God. randomly, I'm just gonna hit you up. Yo. <laughs> yo, I'm not even gonna say nothing. Just it's been done. No context. It's do been it. done. Period. 
It's been done. <laughs> that might be my next Instagram question. It's been done. <laughs> Listen, you I'm gave afraid. me like five already. So we all black and we in school. Who was the other one? Um, I like writing because my hair writing pretty. <laughs> I'm not lying though. I'm not lying. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna have a hard time picking clips from this because you, I don't, <laughs> you had a lot of one liners come through this one. <laughs> no way, do that. Do that. <laughs> I just, look, I just be talking like, don't mind me. I just run in my mouth. <laughs> And, and guess what? Are you going to have your podcast? Are you going to be running your mouth with a purpose? And it's going to work out. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I'm going to just be talking. People will be like, oh, okay. Yep. You just listen. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Yep. Don't play. That's definitely, that's, how, oh that's for God. sure how that works. <laughs> that's 100% the process. Absolutely. Wait till I get it together. I'm just going to be talking and talking. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even like talking though. That's the whole thing. See, exactly. people who don't like to talk make the best podcast. Proof right probably here. More than likely, yes, yeah, because the people <laughs> that like to talk, they probably run out of stuff to talk about because <laughs> they always talking. You why you crank up? Because I was about to say, where is you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. Be running out of stuff. I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> Let's see. Jesus. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Go ahead, cut it like that. Anyway, <laughs> you had a long, a long weekend. I did. As an Atlanta fan, you know the Phillies had to send y'all home like that. I'm sorry. I apologize on the behalf of the organization. You're not even worried. Um, you know, but like I said, I'm keeping you in my thoughts. <laughs> all right i got you it's fine <laughs> <laughs> have a great week everybody goes follow at it it's is. the dot sporty girl right yep it is all right go follow at the dot sporty girl go yeah. follow me at sporty spice the podcast at don't touch my jersey just go follow them all so, no <laughs> and i will see you next episode thank you so much yes you're welcome thank you so much for having me Of course. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.